What is your take on maybe how politicians will use references to Christianity to like support their own platform? So it's not necessarily they're like, we're trying to establish Christian values, but it's like they're trying to almost win an audience or a party. Yeah, I, there's a long history of, of that in our country dating all the way back to like George Washington uh, and his inauguration speech and Abraham Lincoln and the Gettysburg Address, uh, whether it was Roosevelt uh, in World War II, whether it was Nixon, whether it was Reagan, Clinton, even Obama, and obviously Donald Trump with his Trump study Bible. Um, so, I got it actually. Just today. I, I, I think, <laughs> I think because we are, I think because we are a nation that has obvious Christian Judeo-Christian roots that that is part of our cultural narrative, that we, we return back to that, uh, and we quote that. And I, I, think, I think it's appropriate, but I also think we, we have to recognize that politicians uh, on both sides of the aisle are constantly trying to find a way to leverage people groups in order for political power. And so it's great that you wanna quote the Bible to me. Now I, I want a voice to call you to, uh, to accountability. I understand Kamala Harris uh, and uh, Michelle Obama were in Kalamazoo yesterday. Uh, I would have loved for her to stay over and let me interview her. Actually, she's, she's here. No. Come on out. Um, because uh, I would have loved to interview her. And as a prophetic voice, as a, as a Christian, I want to I call her out. I want to I ask her, what, what about this? What about this? Now, if Donald Trump came to town, I would want to do the same thing. Make no mistake, if, if he came to town, I would call him out just as much as I'd call her out because if you're gonna quote the Bible, then you're inviting me as a man of God to challenge you in your application of it. And trust me, I will. And this is, this is I would do it respectfully in both cases because we respect the people that are leading us. We respect the position. But make no mistake about it, we can't get googly eye and go, oh, they quoted the Bible, wow, wow, wow. It's amazing. No, if you're gonna quote the Bible, then you're giving it validity. If you give it validity, you have to have all of it. Now let me help you understand what that really means that you just quoted. It's not a pretty poetic little poem that you add to your speech so that all the Christians go, oh, he loves Jesus. It's like, no, are you, how are you gonna take up your cross, deny yourself, and follow Jesus? And that would be part of how I would approach that. 